Hi, my name is Teddy Tedesi, and I'm an IT educator in the DMV area. Today I'll be teaching my students about how to assess the SQL Server Health Report using Azure Data Studio. Here's a step-by-step -step overview of how you can get your report running in Azure. 1. Azure Portal Access Ensure you have access to the Azure Portal. If not, log in using your credentials. 2. Navigate to Azure SQL Resources Once logged in, Navigate to the SQL databases or managed instances, depending on where your database is hosted, in the Azure portal. 3. Find your database. Locate and select the database for which you want to run the report. 4. Access advanced features. Check if advanced data security is enabled for your database. If not, you might need to enable it, as it provides additional monitoring and security features including vulnerability assessment, VA. 5. Set up vulnerability assessment, optional. If you are looking to run a SQL Vulnerability Assessment Report, configure it by setting a storage account and periodically scanning settings. 6. Running the report. For Vulnerability Assessment Reports, navigate to the Security section and under Advanced Data Security, find Vulnerability Assessment. Here you can run and view reports. 1. Report Generation. Click on the relevant report type you wish to generate. Follow any on-screen instructions to customize the report parameters. Two. Viewing and exporting the report. Once the report is generated you can view it directly in the Azure portal. Most reports provide an option to export, allowing you to download them in various formats like PDF, CSV, etc. 3. Scheduling reports optional. If you need these reports regularly you can schedule them using the SQL Server Agent Jobs if your environment supports it, or through Azure Automation for cloud-based resources. 4. Review and Analyze. After the report is generated, review the results. Look for any anomalies, performance issues, or security vulnerabilities that need addressing. Don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel for more updates.